Hello and welcome to the vlog. Uh, this is my 2019 New Year's resolution. Making a vlog. I've been making a vlog since 2017. Yeah, 2018. You can make a vlog. Yes, but it's so your boy Billy. Is that a rude vlog? Oh, it's up, baby. Yeah. Hi, guys. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Hi, guys. Welcome to our channel. But procrastination got me here. But uh, for this year, I want to be more dedicated, do more videos. So hopefully, expect a video every week on different stuff. Make it up as we go. But um, for today's video, uh, it's based on the traveling that I've been doing for the last two months. I traveled to Mombasa, Samburu, Meru, Emali. So it's just the drone shots that I took while traveling coupled into one video. So the film I'm about to show you has uh, uh, put a back on audio by Alan Watts, who's a motivational speaker. You can get his audios online. Um, some of them on YouTube. I'll put the link to the in the description of the audio in this film so I, you guys can go and listen to it. But um, I like this audio in particular because it talks about chasing your dreams and doing what you love and not really worrying about the money because you work hard enough the money will come along the way. The film uh, mostly contains drone footage that I've shot on my Mavic Air. That's it, that's it. This is what I take all my drone footage with. Amazing machine. Uh, it's been through some rough landings and crashes, but it gets the job done. So this one gets all the shots. Um, it's been amazing. Um, the video that I did, all the all the footage is taken by this drone. So I made this video because uh, I really love the audio, and I hope that you guys can learn something from it, and maybe it might inspire some of you to do what you love doing and just follow your path, uh, despite of what people say or what people might think. So I really hope it helps you and enjoy. It. Of course. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, oink oink. What makes you itch? What sort of a situation would you like? getting out of college and we have the faintest idea what we want to do. So I always ask the question, what would you like to do if money were no object? What, how would you really enjoy spending your life? As a result of our kind of educational system, crowds of students say, well, we'd like to be painters, we'd like to be poets, we'd like to be writers, because everybody knows you can't earn any money that way. Or another person says, well, I'd like to live an out-of-doors life and ride horses. finally got down to something which the individual says he really wants to do, I will say to him, you do that and uh, forget the money. If you say that getting the money is the most important thing, you will spend your life completely wasting your time. You'll be doing things you don't like doing in order to go on living, that is to go on doing things you don't like doing. 
which is stupid. Better to have a short life that is full of what you like doing than a long life spent in a miserable way. But it's absolutely stupid to spend your time doing things you don't like in order to go on spending things you don't like, doing things you don't like, and to teach your children to follow in the same track. And so, therefore, it's so important to consider this question, what do I desire? To create girls that don't grow old, apples that don't rot, clothes that never wear out, You will soon see that's not what you want. To be in power, to be in control, is not something that any sensible person wants. You could live as long as you like because you control the fundamental processes. You could determine if you decided to die where you would be reborn, exactly. Now I think that this is the greatest possible lesson for the Western world to learn because we are so hung up on the idea of power, of control, of being able to make everything go the right way. And if we've never thought it through, when you get control of it, what are you going to do with it? What you always are looking for in things is where the surprise is there, where there's a comeback. And you say, my God, this thing is alive. It has a will of its own. It is not in my control. And I would like to have a relationship with something like that because it would never be dull. But what an awful thing, you know, when you realize that this thing has no give, uh, no surprise in it, no thing that it does on its own, you see. And so when you think things through like that, you understand you do not want power, you don't want to control it.